Think again before beating yourself up. A life of kindness is the primary meaning of divine worship. Emmanuel Swedenborch. When I was in my 20s, I founded a computer export company and was exporting computer accessories to Saudi Arabia, Greece, and Nigeria. Later, I established a fully staffed subsidiary of my company in Victoria, Island, Lagos. Island, Lagos, Nigeria. I traveled a lot during those days. In fact, I often wonder what what day it was as I journeyed from one country to an, to the other. I visited Greece and Nigeria often because my younger brother was studying in Athens at the time. And I would pass through Athens on my way to visit my company in Lagos. During one such trip, I was on my way back to United States from Nigeria with a stopover in Athens. I checked into the Sheraton Hotel in Ikija, Lagos. The next morning, I was scheduled to take a flight with Egypt. Air to Athens. Usually, I am meticulous when it comes to scheduling my flights and making sure I get to the airport on time because I know... I know the inconvenience that goes with missing international flights. Thus, I never miss an international flight. The night before my departure, I packed my luggage and was ready. All I had to do the next morning was take a shower, get dressed, and check out my hotel. Since my flight was scheduled to depart at 10 a.m., I called the lobby and scheduled a week up call for 6 a.m. as a contingency. I set my own travel alarm clock for 6 a.m. I reasoned that if I woke up at 6 a.m. and left the hotel by 7 a.m., I had plenty of time to get to the airport, check in, and have breakfast before my departure. To my astonishment, I woke up the next morning at 9.45 a.m. My flight would be in the air in 15 minutes. We dropped traffic it could take from half an hour to an hour to get to the airport i could not believe it i entered this belief i called the lobby to find out the correct time because my clock could not possibly be correct they confirmed it was almost 10 a.m i agreed required why they had not called me as scheduled they apologized saying they've been calling my room every half hour since 6 a.m. was well known to the hotel staff because I stay at their hotel regularly. My own alarm clock indicated it had been performed as well. I was obviously in such a deep state of sleep that I had not heard any of it. This had never happened in all my years of traveling with no one else to blame. started beating myself up. I called myself every unflattering name I could think of. What's wrong with you, foolish man? What are you? An infant who needs 12 hours of sleep. I was so upset because of all the inconveniences I was scheduled to face. I had to notify my brother in Athens that I was no longer arriving as planned. I had took, I had to book a hotel room for an additional night, assuming I could get a flight for the next day. In addition, I knew I would like pay the airline penalty fees for changing my departure date. I had not planned to spend more money. You can imagine how frustrated and upset I was. Fortunately, I was able to reschedule my flight for the next day, but the penalty fee was high. Not knowing what to do for the day, I decided to hire a car with the driver as it's often done in Lagos. And when, when Sai sightseeing I came back in the evening upon entering my hotel room i turned on the television there was breaking news the flight i had missed the morning had crash landed in cairo what my mouth flew wide open my eyes were glued to the tv and my legs went limp as i sat on my bed in disbelief Although no one was killed, I felt sad for the passengers who were on board and those who were wounded. At the same time, I was filled with profound gratitude that the Divine had spared me that horrible experience. I could not thank God enough. Here I was beating myself up, not knowing 
that the divine had my back and caused me to oversleep. The experience taught me a very important life lesson. As humans, we often react negatively and sometimes violently when things don't go our way or when we work so hard to make a relationship work or to fulfill our dream it does not materialize but now i share the lesson i've learned with others no matter how terrible an experience might be whether it is a job loss a missed flight a most cherished relationship that ended abruptly or any other of life's many unforeseen calamities or disappointments before you start beating yourself up and regret think think again maybe just maybe it was for your own good may the blessing be by zil okokere